Voilà. Allez. And welcome to the live stream, guys. So if you're watching this just on the playback, just actually go ahead and scroll up like a minute or two. Um, probably not answering questions here for about a minute. So Nick's Crypto, what up, man? How you doing? What up, Josie? Welcome back to another stream. I'm just going to end up putting this in the group, um, Facebook group real quick. So Welcome, welcome everybody. MK99, what's up guys? I actually got the stream going this time. We are got the new camera set up going. We got the new uh, snowball mic here. So should have better quality audio. Let me know if you guys are enjoying. Josie's been really productive week. Yeah, it's really good. So I'll, this week I've been kind of focusing on my other businesses a lot. Um, just been super busy with that. I mean, um, I got my marketing agency I'm working on. I've been making about... 50 to 100 calls a day on that, working on my ATM company, and then obviously flipping phones here and there. Ended up picking up uh, 7 Plus Unlock today for 280, but ended up it was 256 gigabytes. So probably an easy 450 sale for me, honestly, because they fly super fast. So um, can't complain. I mean, I'm doing about uh, a phone or two every single day with this other com businesses that I'm working on. So I'm pretty excited about it. I think buying an uh, iPhone when it drops and selling on eBay, good idea. Expecting it to sell out, hopefully. Yeah, MK99, if you can get your hands on one super early, you're, they'll fly off within two minutes of it listing. So, New mic sounds good. Appreciate it, jo uh, Josie. <laughs> I love it. Um, I don't want to wait a month for the XR, so I think I should pay 254 for the S. Yeah, that it's kind of annoying that they're releasing a little bit later, but... Um, I wonder how that's honestly going to affect the drop of the actual S. Um, having those two only and then the R not available for another little while. So I don't use B-Stock. Um, don't worry about what others do and focus on yourself. I remember saying that for Tiush. A $1,200 sale day and I'm getting more sealed device tomorrow. Hell yeah. Good stuff, Pratish. You've actually been killing it lately. Um, Lamont, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back. Um, is four sixty nine ninety nine a good price for a bad ESN Galaxy S nine plus Verizon comes with Otter Box in very good condition? Um, just check with eBay sold listings, man. I don't know off the top of my head, honestly, just because I don't do too many of them. Um, I, I, I do like maybe two or three a month of the S nine, so just check on eBay. How do you feel about the S uh, series four watch? Yeah, I mean it's pretty cool. I, I usually, it's funny, I, I'll usually do Apple Watches. Like, I do really well when they drop, um, and then they just kind of fade out. I mean, it's pretty cool with the whole, uh, obviously, they're going to be able to, having the new technology, but it's not really too different from any of the other ones. So, I mean, it's just another product for us to buy and resell. But you see, like, the Series 1s, those are going to be, like, the iPhone 5s. Like, nobody wants them. You might buy them for 40 50 bucks and sell for 100 So, uh, I mean, I, I have to be excited about them, right? So. Turning 350 into 750. I'm just waiting for money to release from Mercari. Hell yeah, man. That's pretty good. That's really good. Nice little $400 profit. How long did it take you, MK99? Um, yeah. I mean, it, yeah, to be released from Mercari. Yeah, I mean, it should be pretty quick, right? Because they only, it's just the buyer has to rate you and then you get the money and it'll take like two, three days to actually get to your account. So, how soon do you think older models will drop in value? Blake's sake vlogs are already dropping, my man. <laughs> They're already taken. I'm not like I sold off all my iPhone X's here in the last few days just so I could watch the market. I'm not trying to be in it right now. I, I really don't want to buy anything and then get stuck with it. So, um, but like these, I bought an iPhone 7 Plus 256, like 280 is really high for it, but I bought it today just because I know the market doesn't really know, know too much about the new iPhone. So it'll still sell for 400 for me. So, I mean, like the older phones, like won't change too much, but these really newer ones, I mean, so if you sell locally, it won't change, but if you're like that, it'll take a couple of weeks. Um, but if you actually are reselling on eBay and stuff, you'll notice a huge decrease in price. Um, 
You can do it too, or anyone can. I got some much needed help, but you, but threw some light on my mentality, and I've been going at it harder than ever before. Yeah, Pratyush. Yeah, hell yeah. Hope school's going well for you, man. My two iPhones. It was an A plus and an X. Um, AT and T blacklisted. I bought them from a guy for three fifty and sold them a car for eight fifty in two days. But fees are ridiculous. Yeah, I mean MK ninety nine fees what ten percent, but at least you're avoiding the PayPal two and a half percent or three percent fees on that. Sorry, I'll kind of center this a little bit. That's really good though, man. Congrats. How fast do you sell your phones on eBay? Well, I don't really sell on eBay anymore to be honest with you. But I, they used to sell within the buy, and I always did buy it now three day period, and they'd sell within the. I mean, some would sell in a couple of minutes, but usually average about a day and a half, two days they'd sell. I mean, some would three days, but do you think that is a good idea to pre-order pre two of the cheap new phones before it runs out and you can flip on eBay? Everything tech, um, I mean, you're buying them at retail, so I mean, they might go higher really, but I really don't know about that. First time on a live stream. Thanks, Stanley. Appreciate you joining in. Don't forget to hit the like button. I really appreciate it, man. Ask any questions you have too. I mean, this is a live Q&A. So got the new camera set up, good quality. Got the new mic set up. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the better quality. ATM business is cool. Wait till those machines multiply low. What happened? The Oreo scammer, Pratush, ended up taking the L on it. I had to. Like I, I just said, I'm not dealing with this anymore. Couldn't do much about it. Fl filed the police reports and I still got wrecked by PayPal. So whatever. It's part of the business. Hence why I don't sell on eBay anymore. Just picked up a phone 40 minutes. So happy. Hell yeah. Your name's Soccer Productions. I don't really know your name, but hell yeah. That's really good. What phone did you end up picking up at? What price? And I'm interested to see. Is the Facebook ad training in the course yet? No. Uh, I honestly, I, I haven't even made the videos. Uh, I, I'm sorry about it. I've, I've just been super busy, as I told you in the beginning of the video. So um, I'll try to do it, hopefully, by the Hold me accountable. So if I don't get it until the until this weekend, um, like literally, like hold me accountable. Let me know every single day that it's not in there, please. Just because I do a lot of other stuff. I, I'm sorry though. That should be my top priority. Uh, I'm not selling anything. You, but we do talk about. I did do the live stream in the private Facebook group. So I don't know if you're in the course or not. Just because I don't know your YouTube names, a bunch of numbers and letters, but. Um, if you are in the private Facebook group for the course, um, I did do like a literally a live tutorial walking you through everything. So basically just the videos I'm going to put in the course might be a little bit more detailed, but I mean, it's not too much different than that. So now I see that comes with the course. I'm not selling anything used or unlocked on eBay, either Swap or Mercari if I can't sell the buyer. That's a pretty smart strategy, Pratish. Are you going to stream COD? Um, I'm going to be getting the new game, Cav. Yeah. So all on my stream on Twitch. I'm going to be... Twitch streaming right after this. So if you're interested, um, go check it out. It's it's Kish is my Twitch name. Um, iPhone 8 Plus locked. Hundred dollars. Oh hell yeah! What did you? Are you probably? What are you going to sell for? I sell my private buyer for two fifty. I mean, that's a pretty nice little profit there. Without getting too personal, how much money did you take? Did it take to get your ball rolling buying phones? Every how much money? How much money did it take to get your ball rolling? Are you saying like how much money did I need to have to get the ball? I mean. Like, I don't really know how to answer that question, but I mean, I started with like my first phone was like 200 bucks and I, I just built that over time. I was reselling locally a lot in the beginning until I was like 2k cash. And then I was selling on eBay cause I wanted to get reviews and over time I'm selling, selling on Mercari private buyer found all of that. Um, so, but I mean like, I like to have about a couple that like, I'd say in cash, I usually have between three and 5k on me at all time just because there's a chance that I like sometimes I always do bulk deals a lot of times with people that I can find. So if I can do those, like I, I like to have the cash on me, I take, I can take out a thousand dollars in my bank account every single day. So uh, if I get the chance, I like to have three to five K on me in cash. Good question though. So you know, fake book ads, how's it going? And by the way, once you have the blueprint, let me know and coach me uh, during our consulting call. I need that. How you yeah, up So um, it's going really well. I mean, I don't run them every single day. I run it about three days out of the week and then I'm set for phones during the week. Like, I mean, this iPhone seven plus come direct came directly from it. 256 gigabyte going to be making about 120 to 140 profit on it. Um, I mean, now that I'm doing a couple other businesses, I, I am not buying like five or six a day. I'm like doing two or three. So, um, but I mean, like I never have, like I haven't been on offer up in, in, in like two weeks just because I'm flooded with Facebook messages. Um, 
And I've been trying different ad pictures, different ad copies. Some have done failed. Some have literally failed the ads, not getting any traction. And some have. Like this time I ended up trying for targeting people that are 7 plus phones or newer. Before I was doing 6S, I was changing like locked, bad ESN, water damage. I was changing the wording a little bit. Um, and some are resonating really well and some are just not sticking at all. So it's all about testing, right? So it's like I have to stop the business for a for at least a week because the hurricane is coming on. People are worried on safe, which matters more, but still sucks. Oh yeah, I heard about that, but stay safe, definitely. I mean, <laughs> safety first, right? That does suck though. Luis, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you tuning in. Ask any questions if you have any. I'm going to set up a tent with a stove near a eco ATM and take their business. That'd be pretty smart, Kev. I know there's a bunch in Walmart, so you could just sit out, <laughs> sit in front of it, a nice little lawn chair. Start saying, hey, I'll buy that right from you. No ID required. Which ads failed? Lamont, um, I was just trying different ad copies. So like just some pictures failed. Um, the one I taught you in the Facebook group, use that one right now because that works. It's still my best one yet. Um, I was just trying some of the pictures that I had actually given in the course, like those um, actual Craigslist ad pictures. I was using some of them. Um, and like some of them had too much text. So Facebook reduces it. You don't have too much text on them, but the one I showed you was really well sticking. Um, ended up trying targeting, you know, I, t I the ad copy that I showed you in that live stream was 6S or newer. I tried seven plus a little bit less traction, but those are a lot easier for me to buy and sell right now. I mean, I'm not getting as many, like I'm getting about 15, 20 messages a day, but I mean, out of those, I'm still buying, I'd say 20% of them. So. I mean, you, you might get less messages if you try new things, but um, you won't know until you try. So, can you, Soccer Productions, can you el uh, elaborate on that a little bit? Um, for some reason, Facebook doesn't get me many leads because there's not many big groups in my area. Kev, that's why I said go to Facebook advertising, get that paid advertising. You're literally spending five, 10 bucks a day, running for three, four days, spending 30 bucks, and you're hopefully buying like, four or five, I mean, you could buy one, you should at least buy one of those phones every single day. You can probably buy one to five of those every single day. And I mean, one of those phones, hundred dollar profit, you might take 30 out of it because the ad spend, you get 70 bucks and all the rest are just straight profit and you did no work simply because you put up, took you 20 minutes to set up that ad. So definitely try that, man. I don't use Facebook groups at all, I'll be honest. So I want to figure out how to do some free ads on OfferUp, like, oh, what's the safe way to make sure I don't get banned? Jerry, good question, um, and thank you for tuning in. I would say, um, I mean, free ads are, t I mean, one, I'd say really, if you want to do free ads, and I know that work is Craigslist, Craigslist will always be there, and there's no really limit to do it. If you can do it on OfferUp, I mean, they've been a little bit more lenient on the whole putting, like, these kind of ads up for buying phones, so... Um, honestly though, like try doing it at a time, like at the, I mean, you could do it right in the morning or right in the afternoon. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what time and necessarily if it would get taken down, but just try the different strategies. I give them a lot in my, in my YouTube videos. And that's a lot of the stuff I teach in my course as well. Um, uh, just not getting banned because that's the worst thing that could happen to us phone flippers. You could definitely agree with that. It's getting banned. Like I have like 95 reviews on offer up now. And if I lost offer up right now, it wouldn't be anymore. It wouldn't be bad. But the last two months since I was like 90% of my, like where I was buying my phones, that would affect it really bad. So just watch a lot of my videos. Um, don't put, don't make it just like straight up cash for phones. Like some of them stick for other people and it's really annoying, but um, just, just kind of change it around use some of the strategies I give my video. If you want to hop in the course, you're, you're never going to get banned. I, I can promise you that. So. I paid seven dollars a day and got one lead. Cav, yeah, I mean that's all about. Yeah, I mean you have to test it. You might, you're, you have. To, I don't know what your ad copy was, like your picture and description. So, and I don't know, were you doing boost posts, like boosting a post, or were you doing like back end Facebook ads, like sponsored posts in the description? Let me know, and I can probably help you out there. Can you make a video showing us what ad picks text work good? Um, soccer, yeah, I can, but honestly, I don't use that strategy as much anymore. Uh, I have a lot of that in my course. So if you are interested, definitely um, you will find a lot of value in it because I did spend a lot of the time, like when I was doing it really well, that's when I was making my course and those strategies still apply today. But for me, like I don't really too have too many, I don't really have any ads up on OfferUp, Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. So I have some Craig's old ones, Craigslist ads up. But I mean, I I'd want to show you if I had them on me, but like the best thing, like watch my old YouTube videos if you want the free content. But if you want to invest in, 
um, hopefully get a ton of phones to buy, like look at the course, like hundred percent. So should I buy an iPhone X 64 gigabyte battery sense sprint for, for three fifty? Um, you can, I, I like to buy them for about 300. I mean, 350, you'd still probably make profit. If you sold on Mercari, they'd probably still go. Um, I, I don't, I don't have my phone on me right now, but, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it would still sell. So you'd probably still make some money on it. Do you do boost posts or backend Facebook ads? Backend Facebook ads. I don't do bo boost posts for you. Yeah. So uh, they, they sound, when I say do you do Facebook ads, so a lot of people are coming to me. They're like, yeah, I boost my posts. It's not the same thing at all. Not even close to as powerful as the back end. And you're literally probably paying the same amount. So. So if you're doing it on your Facebook app on your phone, probably it was just boosting your post cav. So. Um, if you want to learn about the back end Facebook group uh, stuff, again, I hate plugging it so much, but it is in my course. Um, and, and I did teach a little bit about it in my actual one YouTube video, but um, the back end stuff is, I mean, that's probably why you got one lead just because you boosted it. But if you're able, that back end Facebook literally target, you could target people. You could, like, let's give an example. I could literally target somebody that's 18 years old that um, is still in high school or is freshman year in college that um lives in a population town of like 2500 like i could literally target that that's why it's so powerful like for me i'm targeting people in a 25 mile radius in phoenix that are between the ages of 18 and 65 male or female that speak english um that have interest in in, in an iphone or own an iphone so that's why it's super um targeted and powerful and that's why i'm getting so many leads because i'm putting my ad up in front of people that are hot like that like based on facebook's algorithm should be messaging me through those so facebook wants to work with you yeah uh iphone x prices are going down like crazy I tried out facebook ads paid ten dollars got our eight messages and made it a sponsored post sally no phones in my hand jared yeah i mean it's all about testing man i like there's no blueprint to how to do it i mean you just gotta test the different ad copies like try five dollars a day and do two separate ads and see which one's sticking better um try not to have a picture make a picture look very professional don't have too much text on it uh i, I might have showed in my facebook group i mean the face of the youtube video that i just had up two videos ago about facebook ads i think i showed the picture in there but um, I mean, it really has to be the right picture. It has to be the right description. It has to be the right targeting and stuff like that. So, I mean, play around with it. You got the experience from drop shipping. Yeah. No, honestly, like I, I wasn't really good at, sorry. I wasn't really good at Facebook ads um, in drop shipping. I mean, I made a, a couple hundred dollars just profit from it, but um, that's just how I know like how to use it. Right. So. What's the difference, Kev? So a boost post is literally like, it's just gonna target anybody in the area. And like, it, there, there's no, like this part, like I don't, it doesn't target people from this age. It doesn't target certain males or females. It doesn't target people that even live there. It could be people that are just visiting. So that could be a problem why it's not catching. Uh, boosting a post is literally just telling Facebook, hey, make more people view this. View this. But 99% of those people could have not even owned an iPhone. You don't know that. So that's why it's different. That That's what the difference is. How much is your co course? Uh, Jared said it's 497, but usually offers some sales. So yeah, um, it's during my live streams, I offer 10% off, which is 50 bucks. So um, right now it should be 497 minus to 10%. So if you want to hop in, it is in the description. So yeah. I, I mean, I, I could value it at a thousand dollars, but I mean, I, and I did spend like two months on it, but I'm not trying to break the bank. I mean, you think about, it, you should be making that money back within two, three phones, honestly. And that could take you literally a day to make that money back if you implement the strategies that I have. So PayPal are ridiculous. Once you start selling a lot, they hold your money. Yeah, PayPal has been weird now. <laughs> How much is your course right now, Devin Freeman? It's four ninety seven, but during the live stream, I actually do ten percent off. So I'm gonna put it in the. I'm gonna actually. I don't. The one in the description, I think, is just the regular price. But let me put the ten percent off one um, in here for you guys. So I'm just gonna put it in the actual descript. I'm gonna put it in the chat for you guys. So hold on, let me copy this. So this should be ten percent off. I just put it in there. So go, go check it out if you want to hop in 10% off. Once the live stream ends, uh, I, I take it down again. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, 
people are really doing well in it that I've been speaking to. So I'm starting to get a bunch of referrals from people that are in the course too, giving me some um, actual results that they're getting. I mean, um, one guy's already at 3,500 in profit for the month. So I'm super excited about that. Do you do promoted ads on OfferUp, Ricardo? No, um, I'm really focusing my time on Facebook ads. What do you think is the reason marketplace leads went down? People will still go on marketplace to sell stuff and it will appear on their feeds. Um, what could have the uh, what could have the algorithm change have done? I'm honestly not too sure, Pratish. I mean, I, I don't work for Facebook, so I don't really know. But I mean, they're always trying to crack down. Any of these apps want to crack down on people that try to put services up. So weird thing is, that never charged me seven dollars. Kev, that's a win. <laughs> Even though I don't, you didn't do get too many phones from it, but um, but usually uh, it, it probably will charge you. Like I get charged Facebook ads, like literally after I reach a certain limit, I have to reach like twenty five dollars or a couple hundred sometimes, and it bills me. So and it might just come. It'll definitely come back. They're not gonna let you do it for free. To me, Facebook ads just seems way more professional, less of a hassle. Those free methods just seem tacky, ghetto, and headache. Look forward to using Facebook ads. Yeah, Lamont, you got it right. I mean, it's still valuable, like especially I still teach it to the people in the beginning, people that don't want to do free marketing, uh, that do want to just do free marketing. But I mean, this is paid advertising, but I mean, the price is so cheap to use Facebook right now. In the future, it's going to be like, literally, it'll probably cost us like $10 per message we're getting. But right now it's literally costing me like below 50 cents per person that messages me, which is incredible conversion rate. So, I mean, it is professional. It's a good way to build your brand, building your personal Facebook page um, for your actual brand and your LLC. Like you'll start to get reviews. That's how you get referrals. You put your number on there. People share that page and everything like that. We're at OfferUp. It's just kind of like an anonymous profile. I mean, I still use it, but I mean, that's the future. And that's why I, I want so many people to start learning these Facebook ads. And I'm really the only one that teaches it. So in terms of phone flipping, how much have you made far this month, bro? Like how many phones have you purchased? So, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, this month, uh, I guess like I'll just talk about last month, uh, just because it's like in the beginning of September, but last month ended up doing just shy of $8,000 in phone flipping my biggest month ever. So I'm super excited. I think I ended up doing, let me see. 40, 46 phones last month. So, I mean, biggest month ever, like it's super good. Like I'm, I'm pretty excited. Um, this month, month I'm going to be a little bit shorter because I'm, I'm playing the long-term ball because I'm trying to grow a couple other businesses of mine, like my social media agency and the ATM, as you guys know. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at for that. But I mean, I mean, I'm slowly growing. So that shows that there is potential to make all this money in phone flipping and Especially like I'll credit half of that to Facebook ads, honestly, from last month. So, uh, hold that house, Ricardo. What do you do when a phone um, or computer won't sell? I mean, I mean, try listing it locally. Try selling it online. Try pricing it a little bit lower, taking a little bit of profit because you want that cash flow. A lot of the times, like especially when I was doing this in the beginning, these phones I'd be holding on to them for two, three weeks because I was too stubborn not to take that $20 less. But if you think about it, if I was took that money within the day that somebody offered me $20 less, but I was being stubborn about it, it's all about the cash flow. I probably could have turned that extra $20 into a couple hundred dollars over the next, even if you say the next three months without even, and, but instead I was actually just holding that phone on me uh, and, and not doing it. So sometimes you have to lower your profit, but you have that cash flow. You're able to go buy more phones with that actual money. Um, and you have, to, you have to think long term. That money should be turning into a lot more than you just actually holding onto that phone and having that investment stagnant sitting on your desk. So it's a cool thing. To, it's a it's all perspective thing. So do you consider this a stepping don't? Uh, uh, Luis said, "Do you consider this a stepping stone business?" Yes, hundred percent, Luis. Um, this isn't something. I mean, some people will, but this is honestly, I consider it kind of like the gateway business. I tell this people a lot of the time, if you're looking like for me, this is still a gateway business, even though I do this full time, like, I'm not going to be doing this for 10, 20 years. Like I'm going to get burned out after five years. I mean, it's a lot of work and I'm starting to automate it a little bit better and growing my brand and stuff like that. But I want to use a lot of this capital. I mean, for me, it's been a, it's been a ton of capital that I've been able to get more than I ever could have imagined that I'm able to potentially invest in real estate, invest in buying an ATMs, invest in marketing material for my social media agency, 
I mean, 99% of the people come to me saying, Hey, um, I want to invest in Bitcoin. How do I, I here's some money. I have a guy that comes to me. It was, it was actually a, a guy that I used to, uh, or just a college friend that I met with a lot of the time that's does an investment banking job and he using, he wants to use phone flipping just as his extra side hustle. He might make extra a hundred, two hundred dollars a week. But I mean, you think about it over a year span that adds up. That's an extra vacation. That's paying off your phone bill, paying off rent. I mean, it's just a gateway thing. Like it, no, not many people are doing this full time. So, but it's probably the coolest gateway business. It literally is the definition of get rich quick scheme in a sense. Um, I mean, there's ways to get scammed and you have to take, you learn the knowledge and stuff like that, but it's honestly one of the quickest ways I know to make money, to be honest. So Kish, thanks so much for telling me about buying phones from ads. I used to buy and sell on Mercari for the last four months. Now it's way better with buying local. Yeah, no problem. Soccer productions Should change your YouTube name. So I know your name. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I can help out. Hey, Kish, if I don't have transportation, do you think I can still flip phones by maybe going on a bike to meetups or spending like $10 on an Uber? Alex, yeah, just consider it an investment. If you need to spend $10 on Uber, charge them $10 higher, $20 higher than you would have normally and see if they'll take it. I mean, a lot of the times, like, like I even ask for gas money once in a while, be like, yo, I got to come 35 minutes. You think you can go $10 higher just so I can pay for gas? There you go. Pays for your Uber. Simply, I know so many people that come to me, especially the younger generation that says, hey, I don't have transportation or even the older gender. It doesn't really matter what point in your life you're in. I mean, there's always ways to make money in this. I mean, sometimes potentially you could just ride your bike to the nearest gas station or the nearest AT&T store, the nearest McDonald's. I mean, put in the work. I mean, this is, you can make a hundred dollars within 15 minutes work. All you have to do is ride a bike for 15, 20 minutes. I mean, you, you could definitely do it, Alex. So how many income streams do you have? Oh, hold on. I lost a message. How many income streams do you have at the moment? I mainly do phone flipping, but also learning another one. Yeah. So I have the ATM one. I have, well, I'm putting in my first one soon. So that is going to be an income one. I do have my course. I have um, phone flipping. I'm, I'm so close to booking my first client for social media. So within the next probably two, three weeks, I'm guessing I'm more, well, that's the goal. I should have four income streams. I mean, obviously I want way more than that, but for now, like that's where I'm really trying to focus my time on. So, uh, I'm the dude from Ricard. You told me about your channel. Oh yeah. Soccer productions. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. I appreciate you tuning in. I know you now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. How many people, how do people make like 30 K a month in a month with free ads? Kev, I don't know. Go ask them. I mean, if you're doing 30 K a month, like I ended up doing interviewing Luke Deutschlander. He does that type of money. I don't really know how. If you want to find out, you can go ask him. But I know a lot of people that do more of the wholesale route, do a lot of buying in bulk. But when, I mean, you need so much capital to do that. You need like six figures, honestly, to be able to do that because they're doing transactions that are like 30, 40, 50, 60,000 dollar transactions. So, I, I mean, don't worry about that. Like, don't have the mentality of trying to do that kind of money. Those are the people that have been doing this for five, 10 years. Like, you can't do that in their first year. I, I like, I have no problem saying that. Like, unless you have like just stupid amount of money to invest and you know what you're doing, that's how they're doing it. So, I'm down, Devin. Uh, what do you? What do you think about the price of new phone? Will they affect anything else? Devin, I mean, it's just going to affect the whole phone market. I'm pretty interested how it's going to affect the iPhone X. I've heard different points like um, with the whole eSIM thing. And now those might phones might be on, like they'll never truly be unlocked potentially. But then another person was saying now that, I mean, the X is just kind of in the middle. It's eight, the eights have the home button, which is the last phone to have the home button. And now there's the better X's, which you can easily buy like the R for the same price. And it pretty much does the same thing, um, which is pretty cool, which is 700 is even less than the X. So, and that the only reason it might hold value is because those might be the phones that could be unlocked that are the X version. Uh, whereas those e -SIMs might affect the whole unlocking a carrier thing so i'm pretty interested like i don't know too much about it i know probably as much as you but i did watch the whole apple event today and there's a lot of cool stuff coming so what up william <laughs> thanks for tuning in man uh at alex one flipper used to go wait by eco ikdm so when people try to sell their phones but don't want super low ball offer they bite off of them yeah somebody said that earlier that's pretty smart you don't really need a car though. Phone phone flipping is so manual, 100% true. You can't automate it though. Are you going to open up stores like David? Uh, probably not, Kev. I really just don't feel like I want to do other things rather than that. 
Have you ever considered stock trading? My goal is to flip phones to fund trading account. Lamont, I'd love to get into it. Um, I'm, I'm connecting with a couple people here that are in the whole stock. I really want to connect with the one guy in Arizona. His name's like Ricky Gutierrez. Uh, he's like one of the youngest millionaires. He does like pretty much day trading. I think it's super interesting. I should probably start up my whole Robinhood account and start investing a little bit of money every put a little bit of the phone money every time into there. Um, but I, I mean, that is a long term play, which is pretty cool. I'm going to a mastermind. You're going to that mastermind. I got. I think I might be speaking at a Pratish, which is pretty cool. Um, you should definitely go. I think Luke is onto something there. I bought an iPhone 6S, 128 gigabyte unlocked, any carrier, like new condition. Got it for 100. Should I flip and wait for someone to offer me 300 or sell for 250? 250 right now, Ricardo, 100%. I'm here. Sorry I'm late. I'm on that grind. I'll just finish another video going up tomorrow. Hell yeah, Financial Wolf. You got school, phone flipping videos. You're killing it, man. That, should, that stuff's tough. I respect that. How about that YouTube money? Have you earned? Have you heard of Jordan McKay? He has a course, but everyone says it's a cam scam. Never heard of it, um, Luis. YouTube, I guess YouTube is an uh, extra stream right now. I think over the past like four videos, I've made like 50 bucks on there. I mean, it, it's not much at all, but I mean, every it all depends on how many views you get and stuff like that. But for me, uh, I guess in, I guess that is an extra interim income stream. Potentially be a lot too. YouTubers can make a lot of money. So I never really got into it with that mentality though. Um, I really use it more as like a personal brand experience and just kind of teaching what I love to do. So I bought an iPhone 7 on Mercari for 190 It should be a $100 profit easy. I don't know how you find these phones, Financial Wolf on Mercari. I'm bidding on them and literally before I even hit the bid button, sold. Like I cannot do it. I think I'm just slow with my fingers. I cannot hit that screen fast enough. I think they're regularly required to unlock phones, even with eSIMs. They there's an unlock code that needs to be generated and solution be found in China. Phone flipping, unlocking, not going anywhere. Okay, cool. Yeah, I I just heard diff, that's what I heard from somebody in the in the industry that does pretty well. So definitely a startup business for Pratush. I'm a long term stock market investor. At Fifteen. I'm able to invest about two hundred a month, and it adds up over time. Yeah, Financial Wolf. You guys should definitely check out his channel. He he. Did, I I. That's how I originally knew him, just through stocks and stuff like that. But I mean, he's using phone flipping to I know eventually get into other stuff. And I think he's doing what you're doing, like ETF uh, vending machines or something like that. Soccer Productions fourteen. We got the we got the young squad. These guys are killing it. Hundred percent. The stream is lit right now. Yeah, it is, Kev. We got 26. This is mo it's it's insane to see when I used to do streams, I get like two people on there back when I was back in university. And now it's like what 27 at all times. Yeah, Pratush, that's the one I'm I, I'm hopefully gonna be attending. Yeah. And speaking at. One of my friends is over one million subs. Yeah, he must be making bank off of YouTube. I literally sit in class waiting to get Mercari notifications that I so I can bid on a phone. <laughs> that is the grind, my man. That is sick. That is so cool. What do you think? What do you think we should? Um, what do you think would be the best phone flipping strategy for a newbie with two hundred bucks? Which brands, models? Good, good question, Lamont. Um, I'd say the best strategy for anybody new with two hundred bucks is go buy sixes. They're selling really, really well right now. Like probably 10, 15 people, twenty people have come to me saying how well sixes, six pluses are selling right now. So go buy them for a hundred, put for 180, buy a six plus for 180, put for 300, buy a uh, seven plus for 300, sell for 400. And then you can start to build that up exponentially and just go back. You could do the same thing or you could spend all those on iPhone sixes. Like it, it's definitely possible, my dude. I can teach you the ways, my friend. Yeah, you should help me out. Johnny Blaze TV, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you guys haven't liked the video yet, definitely give a thumbs up. If you guys aren't subbed to the channel, hit that subscription button down below. I'd really appreciate the support. We just hit 1,300 subs yesterday. Fastest 100. Yeah, every 100 I'm hitting up faster. So it's pretty incredible. I'm not uploading too many YouTube videos just because I've been super busy, but it'll start coming back, guys. I promise. So. Um, do you think phone flipping is different in other countries? I'm from the UK. Good question. It is different, just different price points, but it's the same phone. It's just I'm, what we're teaching is the idea of buying and selling. Yeah, I might say iPhone 6 is $100 here, and it might be 200, 180 pounds there, lowest price. Same thing. Buy for 180 sell for 300 
or like a price that is, you know, it's going to sell for it. I mean, I, I have a couple people in my course that are um, all from, I know a couple of them are from the UK. Uh, I think one from a, even a different country than that out of the U S uh, and they're doing pretty well with it. It's just the idea of buying and flipping. It's not, I'm not teaching you, you should be buying an iPhone X at six uh, hundred us dollars. You just have to learn the strategies on how to negotiate, get somebody to think the value of the phone is a lot lower and then, sell it, market it better than most people. And there's your profit. So hundred percent. I mean, that's, uh, your name is Jay Jaddy Ola. Um, I, that's how I started. I was my senior year of university. So definitely like if I can do it, you could definitely do it. I mean, I was starting slow in the beginning, but you can easily make two, 3000 profit every single month. I mean, just doing it after class or stuff like that is definitely possible. My man. Go for the sixes if you're starting with 200. Exactly. Definitely agree with that. Financial Wolf said, yeah, Luke is probably going to drag me into it, but it's. Yeah, that would be a good networking event, Pratish. Finan Just sub the Financial Wolf. There's your plug, Financial Wolf. I did my duty for the day. And my good deed. You're welcome. Wolf, the same. I've always been waiting for Makari to go to. to go I can't speak. Notifications. Smash the like button, people. You got it. Thank you. We got nine likes. I appreciate it, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Kev. I won't let you down. You got to own it up. Own up to your to to all the hype, Financial Wolf. I'm promoting you on here. Kish Buybacks. That's a good company name. It sounds pretty nice. Really great answers. Yeah, no problem, man. If you ever, like, uh, I mean, if you are interested, I have a lot of free content on YouTube, but I really dive deep deep into my course. So if you are interested, I do have a couple UK people in there. You could definitely connect with them. We have the private Facebook group. You'll definitely learn a lot, and I think it'd be valuable um, for you too, just to connect with other people in the UK that are actually doing this. So um, you might learn some strategies that I don't even know, new apps and stuff like that. So Kish, man, thanks for the uh, knowledge, man. Uh, Kish, thanks for the knowledge, man. I bought my first phone for three hundred and sold for four fifty. Angelo Martinez, hell yeah, man! I, I'm glad I could help out. Which phone was it? Was it seven plus? That seems like what I would sell. Three buy for three hundred, sell for four fifty. Debo and the Beats, how much less are you buying the six than six S? Same with each plus. I mean, I'll buy six and six S pretty interchangeably. Honestly, people don't really care what they are. If somebody's trying to buy that cheap of a phone, they honestly don't even know the difference. So how many members do I have in the course now? I, I think, let me go and check. Let me see how many people I have 43 people in the course, 43 people. I mean, we're growing every day, strong community. It's definitely the, like so much knowledge is being thrown around in that private Facebook group. So how many people join the Facebook group though, which is, it's annoying. I put it as a link in there, but they're missing out. I like the video already. <laughs> I like Kish buybacks. I do too, Lamont. That's a good name. It flows well. Seven plus. Yeah. Hell yeah. That sounds, that's like the perfect flip in my, those are the cri most crisp, clean flips in my opinion. Seven plus five for 300. Usually uh, it depends on the gigabyte for, but for 32 gigabytes, I love to sell for like 400, 128, 450, and maybe 480 for 256 gigabyte. You can never go wrong with the good old iPhone 7 Plus flip. It's so nice. Just bought a 6S for 100. Hell yeah. That's pretty good. Seven plus 120 gigabyte battery sense sprint for 150. Yeah, you probably make money off of that, Jared. See what they're appraised for on eBay. That'll probably be your best bet, but I'm pretty sure you can make good money off of that. Anything is possible. It takes time for wealth to accumulate, but if you keep working hard, you get results. That's why my man Financial Wolf is going to be successful. He's got the right mentality. Last week was probably the worst week for me, but this week I'm picking it back up. Yeah, it's just, it was. I mean, I have slow weeks too all the time. Um, soccer Productions is just. It's weird because, I mean, that's probably off Mercari, right? Just because all those online platforms are really we're waiting for today and seeing what these new phones are about. So, who 11 likes. I appreciate everybody. And if you aren't subbed to the channel, hit the sub button. We're over 1,300. If you guys are interested in the course, definitely hop in now. Before I end the live stream, I put it here. I'll put another – I'll put it here again. It's in the actual um, – 
chat, but I do 10% off. You have to click that link. It'll automatically give you 10% off. I only do it during the live stream, so make sure. Um, I might leave it up for like five minutes after the live stream's over, but after that, it's gone. I would purchase your course, but I'm in David's course. Sorry, Dad. It's all good, Kev. Hopefully, as long as you're making money and you're supporting the channel, I appreciate you, man. You've been here a lot too, so you, you mean, it really means a lot to me. Because what we need to do after the event is get mail-ins, make much better. Do you think focusing on cracked and damaged phones on, only is a good strategy for newbies with small cap? Yeah, that's a really good strategy too, uh, Lamont. That's one thing why I liked really bad ESN ones in the beginning too. Not the lost or stolen ones, but ones that are financed. I love teaching people to use the finance phones, especially because you can get them super cheap. If you use the stuff you know, you watch, you've been in my course, you use the right questions and everything like that. You ask for the IMEI in person, you're bringing an extra $100 in profit to you just by lowballing, but you're already using that bad ESN, ESN strategy that I use. Pretty damn cool. So that is a good strategy. What's your sub goal for the end of the year? What is it? Um, that's a, I should make one. So September... I basically have all of half of September, October, November, December. I'd love to hit 2K, maybe 2,500 by the end of the year. Um, I'm trying to create more videos that are more open to the population. Might have been very specific to phone flipping. That's why I created the ATM one. I'm going to be doing a uh, social media marketing one maybe in the next coming months too. So I'm trying to reach a bigger audience just in phone flipping because I want to make my channel more about business, investing, uh, more for the average guy that doesn't that just has maybe a corporate job or the high school teenager that is looking for many ways to really just start from nothing and build that in a six figure income. So 10 K I love 10 K soccer productions. That'd be dope. I mean, I, I guess I gain about a hundred every 15 to 20 days. So it definitely is possible. Crack seven pluses are easy flip. Yeah, they are. It was a Sprinter Boost phone. Should you appraise as bad ESN? I like to, Jared. It's all personal preference. If I'm selling locally and it says it's paid off, I won't always do it. But if I'm trying to sell online, most of the time I'll sell as bad ESN. Or I'd say 99% of the time I'm selling as bad ESN. Do you feel overwhelmed with all this going on for you? 100%, man. Like, it's so hard to, to manage everything anymore. Like, I, I'm, I should probably try to find somebody that helps me. Um, just manage a couple of things, but I'm trying to do everything myself. Um, cause that's how you get the experience and stuff like that. And like, it's over, like, it's tough to manage. I mean, I love like my priority is like the group and stuff like that fall flip because that's what I've built over the past year, but uh, I'm trying to create long-term wealth with other things. So like, as long as I'm spreading out my day, like right now I'm usually done with phones by 10, 11 in the morning, then I'll make calls from 11 to two or three um for for my agency that i'm trying to build and then atm as well and then after that i'm live streaming i do i'm doing gaming channel as well um because that's just a big pa i'm just trying to follow as many passions as i can because gary v always says just try as many things you can so that is another potential uh thing like income source and i was playing xbox literally every night and i wanted i might as well try to create a channel out of it uh, i don't really have a youtube channel but i have a twitch channel out of it and i stream literally every night for like four or five hours so it gets overwhelming but I love it. Like I had to take this any day over a nine to five job. It's incredible. Like this is honestly the most fun I've ever had in my life. There's someone in Dave's course that's making that, that 13 making seven K a month. That's wild. That'd be crazy. If that's true. That'd be sick. How, you know, if a phone is locked or locked to a carrier on hello, um, you can test different SIM cards. It's probably like the, the cheapest way to do it, if you want to pay, like I literally paid 20 cents to end, to, to do it. I use the website called sickw.com. You just go, it's a drop down menu, pay like 20 cents for it for check, which is super cheap. Um, and then you just type in, you just use the iPhone carrier option on the scroll down menu and it'll tell you if it's truly unlocked or if it's not, it'll say SIM lock. That means it's just with a certain carrier. Yeah, that's an, yeah. What, what financial wolf said, put a random sim in it, sim in it to see if it reads it. That's probably the most like physical way to do it with the phone. But I, for me, I love to just use uh, uh, sickw.com right now. I started you doing YouTube for money, and it definitely seemed like you can make 10, 20k per month, but only if you're monetized. I have an 8k sub channel, but I'm barely beginning to monetize through it through POD and Patreon. That's pretty cool. Do you do gaming peanut? What's your name? ascension i don't know your real name that's your youtube name but 
Are you doing gaming one? That's pretty cool. I'm doing Twitch right now if, if you are. But, yeah, I mean, you have to – I couldn't get monetized, so I was at 1,000 subs, and you have to get 4,000 watch hours. But I was, like, I was over, way over the watch hours one, but now they require you to get at least 1,000 subs. Please, guys, please hold me accountable, Law. I got, I got to get this thing popping. Lamont and everybody here, I'm going to call you out, Lamont, next week, and you're going to tell us how much money you made in sales and profit. So keep track with that spreadsheet I have in the course because I'm going to call you out. And everybody on here, just remember, Lamont is trying to hold us, have a, us hold them accountable. We can do that. That's the least we can do for them. So I'm, I'm going to call you out, Lamont, next week, and you're going to tell us their profits. And you, you, can't, you can't BS us. You have to be totally honest. Thanks, Kitchen Financial Wolf. I pre yeah, no problem, 